The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Summer is just around the corner and we're excited to tell you about what programs we have coming up in June. The school year is about to end, so we're gearing up for our Summer Reading Incentive Program. The start of our Summer Reading Incentive Program means some sparkly new programs for children and adults, as well as a few scheduling changes to pre-existing programs. You can expect even more excitement starting in July, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's do June 1st, or should I say June 4th? Adults, we invite you to join us at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 4th for an evening with local author Lisa Braxton. Lisa will be speaking about her intimate and lyrical memoir in essays, Dancing Between Raindrops. Her recently released book, which explores the personal loss of her parents, extends a lifeline of comfort to anyone who needs to be reminded that in their grief, they are not alone. Speaking of raindrops, Let's hope we don't have any on Thursday evenings this summer. Our Quisit Garden Concert Series kicks off on Thursday, June 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. with a performance by the Sharon Concert Band. Bring a blanket or chair, a picnic dinner or snack, and your friends and neighbors for an evening of musical fun. The Quisit Garden Concert Series is great for all ages and is open to all. You might also be wondering about our Monday night family garden shows. This annual series begins with Mr. Wayne on July 1st. We'll be back next month with all the details. In the meantime, check out our online calendar to get a sneak peek of the lineup. The last day of school for students in the Easton Public Schools is on Wednesday, June 12th, and our Summer Reading Incentive Program starts the next day. This year, the theme is Read, Renew, Repeat, and it's not just for kids. We have three different summer-long reading programs for kids, teens, and adults. All you have to do is create an account or log into an existing account on Read Squared, log the minutes that you read, and get ready to win prizes with the points that you earn. Our popular Read and Bead program for kids is coming back, and so is the World Wildlife Fund Animal Adoption Raffle, thanks to the generosity of the friends of the Ames Free Library. Adults can look forward to raffles for over 25 prizes thanks to the generosity of our local businesses and community partners. The first day that you can log those minutes is on Thursday, June 13th. To celebrate, we're having a summer reading kickoff party in Quisit Garden from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. If you need help signing up for Read Squared, your friendly librarians and volunteers will be on hand, excited, and ready to help. Kids and their families are invited to play giant lawn games, draw with sidewalk chalk, and enjoy millions of bubbles. Warning, the amount of happiness this is sure to bring may cause you to burst into spontaneous fits of hula hooping. Fortunately, we're prepared for that. With support from the Bluestone Bank Charitable Foundation, we've invited Kat Sawalski from Hula Hoop for Happiness to lend you a hoop. Starting at 2 p.m. sharp, watch a thrilling demonstration of hula hooping magic. Then learn some skills of your own through joy-inducing movement explorations. Kat's hosting two workshops for us. If you miss the first one at 2, there's another session right after at 3 p.m. Drop-ins are welcome. In the event of inclement weather, we'll be hula hooping next door at Oaks Ames Hall. We're keeping our fingers crossed for a beautiful sunny day, though. But wait, there's more. We expect a fierce battle at our summer Lego tournament on June 20th. We'll be showing Fern Gully at our first interactive movie night on June 26th. And we're starting a brand new book club on June 27th. The Lighthouse Family Book Club spotlights Cynthia Ryland's chapter book series of the same name. At each meeting, we'll read a little bit, talk about the book, and make a craft based on the book. To sweeten the pot, each child who attends will earn a bonus animal adoption raffle ticket just for being there. A bunch of our fun monthly programs are continuing, like Reader's Theater, Pick Your Poison, Pajama story time, block party, pint size paint and sip, pause to read, and all of our regular story times. We're taking a short story time break during the first week of June, 
But for the rest of the summer, we'll have three weekly story times for our youngest friends. Tuesday mornings at 10.30 is for wiggle worms, best for toddlers, and that will meet in Quisit Garden, weather permitting. Baby time, which is best for infants and pre-walkers, will continue to meet inside at 10.30 a.m. on Wednesdays. On Thursday mornings, family story time for families with littles of all ages will meet in Quisit Garden at 10.30 as well. As always, Crafty Kids can grab Crafty Kits on the second Monday of the month. Swing by our children's room on Monday, June 10th to pick up a kid's take-and-make kit to complete at home. Teens between the ages of 12 and 18 are invited to join us for some of our great programs, including Teen Teen Tarot, which meets on Tuesday, June 18th at 3.30 p.m., Teen Doodle Society, which meets at 3.30 p.m. on Thursday, June 27th, and Teen Advisory Board, or TAB, which meets on June 13th at 5 o'clock p.m. in the Teen Den. At TAB, you can share your opinions, discuss things you'd like to see at the library, and help with service activities when the library is in need. We're also excited to announce our new Teen Anime Nights, where teens are invited to watch anime together, chat, draw, and eat Japanese snacks. The first Teen Anime Night is on Thursday, June 20th at 6 o'clock p.m. at Quisit House. There is no registration required for these programs. Teens are also welcome to attend many of our adult programs. Share your writing at Fireside Tales, or learn a new fun skill by signing up for any of our one-on-one -on -one lessons. Sewing Basics is a popular choice, perfect for thrift store shoppers or future fashion designers. Ames Free Library's popular Quisit Garden Concert Series is returning for its seventh annual showcase. This year's series will be held on select Thursdays at 6 o'clock p.m. Most shows run for 60 to 90 minutes. Bring a blanket or chair, a picnic, and your friends and neighbors. These shows are fun for all ages. And all shows are free and open to all. In the event of inclement weather, please note that concerts must be canceled. An annual staple of our concert series, the 60-plus member Sharon Concert Band returns to open our concert series on Thursday, June 27th at 6 o'clock. The band plays a wide variety of music from the symphonic band repertoire, including marches, show tunes, familiar favorites, and patriotic melodies. Meet the Moonbellies. The Moonbellies perform a very entertaining mix of originals, Americana, old-time music, Quebecois, Irish, and Cajun music. The Moonbellies will perform on Thursday, July 11th at 6 o'clock. This summer, we're welcoming Easton-based Serendipity for the first time. Mara Bond joins local Easton musicians Alice Fu and Sandra Peaks Eddy to perform popular opera arias and duets, musical theater showstoppers, and more. Serendipity will perform on Thursday, July 18th at 6 o'clock. Serendipity's performance is sponsored in part by the Friends of the Ames Free Library. Another annual favorite, singer-songwriter Matt York, will perform songs and tell stories about the great Willie Nelson. York will focus on Willie's long and illustrious music career that has spanned over seven decades. Matt York will perform on Thursday, July 25th at 6 o'clock. This performance is supported in part by a grant from the Easton Local Cultural Council, a local agency which is supported by the Mass Cultural Council, a state agency. The Defenders Concert Corps from Rockland, Mass, will be returning this year to play a little of everything. From Glenn Miller to Chicago, the Beatles to Styx, their show provides a mix of dance music, movie themes, sing-alongs, and a patriotic tribute. The Defenders will perform on Thursday, August 8th at 6 o'clock. Knock on Wood is a high-energy acoustic folk rock duo featuring singer-songwriter Howie Newman. The duo performs classic rock covers and funny original music, suitable for all ages. Knock on Wood will perform on Thursday, August 22nd at 6 o'clock. This year, we are also announcing a special Garden Series bonus concert. We are excited to present Gladius, classical and flamenco guitar prodigy. Gladius is an award-winning composer and performer who has shared the bill with Grammy winners and has mesmerized audiences nationwide. This special concert will be held on Tuesday, September 17th at 6 o'clock. Gladius's appearance is supported in part by the Bluestone Bank Charitable Foundation. All shows are held in Quisit Garden, behind the Ames Free Library at 53 Main Street. Mark your calendars and save the dates. 
We are excited to share this delightful series with you. Looking for some crafting fun? Those ages 15 and up are invited to make a nautical rope bracelet at Design with Dana on Tuesday, June 11th from 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. Make sure to register online ahead of time. Our Library Beaters group meets on the third Monday of every month at 6 o'clock p.m. This month's meeting is on Monday, June 17th. No registration is required for this program. New and experienced adult writers in all genres are welcome to join the Ames Free Library Zoom Writing Group on the second and fourth Monday of the month at 3 p.m. Or maybe you're looking for support while researching your family history? Join Family Trees, Genealogy, and DNA Online on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th at 11 a.m. Our adult tea and tarot is meeting on Thursday, June 6th at 6.30 p.m. Both the curious and experienced are invited to drink tea and exercise their indiv individual intuition through tarot cards and conversation. Want to get moving but not sure where to start? Try our community qigong from the comfort of home every Monday and Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Classes take place on Zoom and are suitable for all levels of ability and any age. And our monthly Tai Chi in the Garden class will take place on Saturday, June 29th at 9 o'clock a.m. in the beautiful Quisic Garden. At the library, it inevitably all comes back to books. Summer is my favorite time to read. Maybe it's yours too? Connect with great books and other readers this season by checking out one of our three monthly book clubs. The Ames Free Library Book Club reads a mix of fiction and nonfiction titles. There are two meeting options each month. Attend an evening meeting on the second Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. or join us in the afternoon on the second Wednesday at 1.30. In June, we're reading Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. Not to oversell it, but this is probably one of the best books that I've read all year. The nonfiction book club reads, you guessed it, Nonfiction. The meeting is on the second Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. This month, the selection is Alfie and Me, What Owls Know, What Humans Believe, by ecologist Carl Safina. Whether you're more Sherlock Holmes or Jessica Fletcher, put your sleuthing skills to the test with our mystery book club. Gather on the last Thursday of each month at 3 p.m. June's book is Zero Days by Ruth Ware. All book club titles are available for pickup at the circulation desk. Visit our website to learn more or to see complete reading lists. Welcome to Page Turners, our segment highlighting recent and upcoming releases. June marks the finales of two iconic, long-running series. On June 4th, Maisie Dobbs solves her final case in The Comfort of Ghosts by Jacqueline Winspear. This book, the 18th in the series, finds the intrepid detective taking on a final assignment of her own choosing. It not only opens a new future for Maisie Dobbs and her family, but serves as a fascinating portrayal of the challenges facing the people of Britain at the close of the Second World War. The award-winning Maisie Dobbs series has garnered hundreds of thousands of followers around the world, readers who are drawn to a woman who is of her time, yet familiar in ours, and who inspires with her resilience and capacity for endurance at the worst of times. On June 11th, beloved New York Times bestselling author Ellen Hildebrand brings her Nantucket novels to a brilliant finish. When rich strangers move to the island, social mayhem and a possible murder follow. Can Nantucket's best locals save the day and their way of life? Chief of Police Ed Kapanash is about to retire. Blonde Sharon is going through a divorce. But when a $22 million summer home is purchased by the mysterious Richardsons, Ed, Sharon, and everyone in the community are swept up in high drama. The Richardsons throw lavish parties, flirt with multiple locals, flaunt their wealth with not one, but two yachts, and raise impossible hopes of everyone they meet. When their house burns to the ground and their most essential employee goes missing, the entire island is up in arms. The last of Ellen Hildebrand's best-selling Nantucket novels, Swan Song is a propulsive medley of glittering gatherings, sun-soaked drama, wisdom, and heart, featuring the return of some of her most beloved characters, including, most importantly, 
the beautiful and timeless island of Nantucket itself. Ahead of the 80th anniversary of the D-Day invasion of Normandy, check out When the Seas Came Alive, an oral history of D-Day by Pulitzer Prize finalist Garrett M. Graff. Though the full campaign lasted just over a month, the surprise landing of over 150,000 Allied troops on the morning of June 6, 1944, is understood to be the moment that turned the tide for the Allied forces and ultimately led to the defeat of the Axis powers in World War II. This new book explores the full impact of this world-changing event. From the secret creation of landing plans by top government and military officials, and organization of troops, to the moment the boat doors opened to reveal the beach where men fought for their lives and the future of the free world. Fascinating, action-packed, and filled with impressive detail, When the Sea Came Alive captures a human drama like no other and offers a fitting tribute to the men and women of the greatest generation. You may know Questlove as a Grammy award-winning musician, Academy award-winning filmmaker, drummer, DJ, producer, director, culinary entrepreneur, co-founder of The Roots, and the musical director for The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, where The Roots serve as the house band. In addition to all of that, he's also a New York Times bestselling author, and he's back this month with a new book, Hip Hop is History. In this landmark book, out June 11th, Questlove skillfully traces the creative and cultural forces that made and shaped hip hop highlighting both the forgotten but influential gems and the undeniable chart-topping hits, and weaves it all together with stories no one else knows. It is at once an intimate, sharply observed story of a cultural revolution and a sweeping grand theory of the evolution of the great artistic movement of our time. If any of these titles sound interesting to you, be sure to put them on hold. You can place a hold right in the sales mobile app, through the online catalog, or by giving us a call. And if you would like information about even more new titles hitting the shelves at the Ames Free Library, sign up for our monthly fiction and nonfiction newsletters. We hope to see you soon at the Ames Free Library, located at 53 Main Street. We're open from 9 o'clock a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. Monday through Thursday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday, and 10 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. Just a quick reminder that the library is closed on Wednesday, June 19th in observance of Juneteenth. You can always find us 24-7 on our website at www.amesfreelibrary.org. We hope you enjoy a June Eakly fun time at the library this month. <laughs>